In this video, we're going to learn how to create outlines of an image using the Trace tool in Illustrator. Open the image you'd like to trace around, and then use the Selection tool in the top left-hand corner and click on the image. You'll know it's selected because you can see a blue square or rectangle around your image. If you look to the right hand side of the screen, you can see you have a Properties, Layers and Libraries tab. Click on the Properties tab and at the bottom of the window you will see the Quick Actions window. You can see Unembed, Mask, Crop Image, Image Trace and Arrange. Click on Image Trace and from the list choose High Fidelity Photo. Once you've clicked the computer will do a few calculations and this will take a few seconds, so you just need to be patient. Once that process is finished, you will see the only option in Quick Actions is Expand. So now click the Expand button. This will turn the lines of your outline into paths. Click Expand. Now go to the Direct Selection tool. So in the top left hand of your screen, it's the white arrow. We can now drag a box around all of the image to select all of the paths. You can see all of the paths have uh, blue lines and, and dots where the path changes direction. Now, back in the properties panel, go to the fill color. Right now there's a question mark in it. Click on the fill color and choose none. It's the white square with a red line through it. Now go to the stroke color and change the color to the color that you want for your outline. You can choose from the color mixer or you can use the RGB sliders, red, green and blue, to adjust the color. I'm going to make mine blue, RGB blue. So I'll move that up to the maximum setting, which is 255. I'll leave red at zero and green at zero. You can change the stroke size and make it thicker. Or if you leave it at one point, it will be the thinnest you can have the, uh, the stroke size. And this would be good for use with a laser cutter. You could engrave this onto a piece of wood or onto a piece of acrylic. If you click on the grey background of the Illustrator window, you can see now all of the paths are visible in blue and the fill colour is blank and we have an outline. There is still a blue square around our image because it converted the um, very outside square of the actual uh, canvas itself that the image was on. So to delete this, make sure you've clicked on the Direct Selection tool, which again is the white arrow. Click on the blue rectangle or square and then press the delete key and you may have to click on each path because obviously there are four sides to the square and delete each one. Now you can save this as a, an SVG file or a JPEG or a PNG whatever format you need to your computer.